everyone, this is Archangel Lee. Welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a quick box opening of something that literally arrived in the mail yesterday. So a few weeks back, Danny Chu started sharing Instagram photos of a new doll that he had in the works. Her name was Kanata, and I really loved everything about this doll. I loved her face, I loved her sculpt, and I really, really wanted her. So at uh, the beginning of August, I was in Montreal. I attended Otakuthon, where uh, Smart Doll also had a booth, and I was really hoping to be able to pick up Kanata in person. I did message them ahead of time and unfortunately she wasn't ready like the production run just wasn't ready yet and that's okay um it was really lovely to just chat with Danny at, at his booth to see all the other dolls um it was just really lovely his panels were really really inspirational I had a great time now why I didn't why it didn't bother me that I couldn't pick up the doll in person is because right now smart doll has a special promotion going on where if you order anything over I believe it's 50,000 yen which is basically any of the dolls or a lot of stuff, um, you get free EMS shipping. So that's amazing. I ordered this, well, she became available last Friday and I was literally in front of my computer uh, waiting for her to become available. And within minutes I had checked out. So I ordered her last Friday. She shipped on either Monday or Tuesday and she arrived yesterday, which was Friday. So that was three or four business days. Amazing. So why am I doing a box opening? There's a whole bunch of these there's, and people have already started receiving her because I put in a, a few funny little requests. So I was curious to see if the smart doll team would notice or um, be able to accommodate. So one of the requests was, can you please mark down the value? Obviously when you do that, it also affects the insurance value. So if I'm asking them to mark a doll for $50 and it gets lost or damaged in the mail, I can only file a claim for $50. So I think I asked, I forget the exact price I asked. So they did mark down the pricing. They marked it down to uh, 29,900 yen. So that's about you know 300 American. Uh, and luckily I didn't get uh, dinged with taxes on this when it arrived. So that was request number one. They didn't, they, they marked it down about halfway, uh, which is still great. Yay, check mark. Um, so let's get, op get with box opening, shall we? Uh, when you're opening the smart doll boxes, be careful. I would not recommend using like a box cutter or an X-Acto knife and you'll see why. So I'm going to use scissors just to score this, um, I don't know, this paper tape that they use. Um, because, oh goodness, excuse me. Um, but I'm going to use this plastic, um, it's actually a box opening tool but this won't damage anything inside. So I'm probably using this wrong. And you can criticize me. Oh my God, this is brutal. All right, I'm gonna see if I can just rip this with my hands now. Um, oops, that was the scissors falling down. Request number two, which the smart doll team did accommodate, was that I asked for discreet shipping. So this box, aside from the labels on it, has absolutely nothing on it that says smart doll or culture Japan. And for me, it really doesn't matter. But if you were getting the ship to, let's say a workplace, or if you live in an apartment building and you don't know what, you don't want your neighbors or your coworkers to know what you're ordering, the discreet shipping is a pretty awesome thing that they can offer. So request number two, accommodated. Thank you very much. Um, so the reason I said don't use a box opener or anything really sharp is because as soon as you open the box, there's a bag inside. It's a fabric bag. So if you use a knife and you went right through it, you could damage the bag. So that's why I used this awkward plastic thing. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so let's pull this baby out. So this is, oh, it's a really nice canvas tote bag. Okay, nothing else in the box. And it says, keep calm and carry a smart doll. I love this meme. I think it's, well, it's based on that keep calm and carry on British meme. Um, and then on the back, it's got the CJ Culture Japan logo and it says smart doll in it. It's a really nice bag. And inside, it's a bunch of stuff. So there is a box. And the doll itself. So I'm gonna put the bag aside. 
let's have a look in the box first because you know I like stuff. Uh, so this little box does have a little, it does have the Smart Doll branding on it. And when, if you didn't ask for discrete shipping, your shipping box would look something like this. It would have the like fragile and the this way up symbols and it would say Smart Doll on it. So if, remember, if you don't want um, the box with the Smart Doll logos, then just ask for discrete shipping in the little uh, notes when you check out. So inside is the black medium straight wig. That's what the style is called, Kanata's wig, and the little ribbon for her hair, her glasses, and her telescopic stand. So the third weird request I asked for was, can you please send me some milk tea, or not milk tea, <laughs> milk shade, this color of the doll, her, her name is, the shade name is Milk. So can you send me some vinyl chips to do some stain testing? And they did accommodate. So that's request number three, accommodated. Awesome. So yeah, these are just little bits of vinyl. So you can, if you have like black clothing or jeans, you can rub it and see if it will stain. So awesome. Thank you very much. All right, so little bits and stuff. Let's have a look at the doll. So she's bubble wrapped in this big sleeve. And she does come partly dressed. Uh, this is the sports bra. I guess you can call it a default set. Um, they don't send their dolls nude ever, really. Uh, so she does come with the little sports bra and panty set. So um, before I dress her up, let's have a look at the glasses, shall we? Because I know um, people were quite curious about these. So these come in... The culture, the culture Japan Smart Doll is a block bag, and these are in a really cute, like a canvas roll-up case. I have like makeup brush case rolls that look like this, or jewelry rolls. So this opens up like that, and inside are her little glasses. So these are, you can see these are really, really, really delicate. But I've seen, uh, was it a video or a photo that Danny posted on his Instagram where he was like twisting them just to show how durable they are like I can do this you can see they're quite bendy I'm not going to twist them I don't want to break these because they were I think if you were to buy these on their own they retail for 9,900 yen so they're almost like a hundred dollars I ordered these without the lenses and I'll explain why in a little bit um so yeah these are really cool so I'm going to dress Kanata up and you're probably wondering well what the heck are you going to dress her up with because you didn't order any other stuff you're right. <laughs> I didn't. And the reason I didn't order any other stuff is because I'm going to Japan in about a week. So I want to go to the smart doll shop in person and have a look at all the apparel so that I can pick and choose what I want. And also as a foreigner, I have the option of uh, getting tax free shopping. So I think I save maybe eight. I think it's about 8%. It's not a lot, but when you're, you're buying a lot of stuff, it can add up. So I do have a few smart doll apparel items and we'll dress Kanada up. Um, and then I can also show you some other things. Oh goodness, excuse me. So I told you I do love that keep calm and carry a smart doll meme. I have the shirt. I bought this actually last summer at Hyper Japan in London when that smart doll had a booth there. But as soon as I, that was when it, this released and I saw this and I was like, this is so funny. So I bought the shirt and I also have these cute little denim shorts. So let's dress Kanata up in these items. And another thing I wanna show you are the high heeled feet for the smart doll. So I absolutely love shoes for myself, for my dolls. I think I have more doll shoes than shoes for myself, but that is actually up for debate. I've never actually counted. I don't want to know to be personally honest. And um, one of the things I love about my resin dolls is that they have the option for beautifully sculpted high heeled feet so they can wear high heeled shoes. But Delphi Dreams and Smart Dolls for the longest time didn't have that option. Uh, until I think about last year when Danny, you know, enough of us wrote and asked and Danny Chu released High Heeled Feet for the Smart Dolls as an optional item. You could purchase them separately. And I was really excited. As soon as they came online, I purchased them in the milk shade and in the tea shade. So I believe these are actually sold out on the website right now. Um, they should restock hopefully soon. And let me get Kanata's shirt on. These are the little shorts. You see how nice these fit? Oh, so cute. Um, 
so what was I talking about? The, the high heeled feet. Yeah, so oh, I don't know if you saw the cat jump by just now. Um, I'm actually going to remove her head to get this shirt off. There we go. That came off quite easily. Um, yeah. Hang on. It's, I don't necessarily recommend doing this all the time because this, if you're um, if you're having trouble with tight fitting shirts, you can just pull the arms off like I just did to get your doll dressed. Sorry, Mirai. Um, but one thing that I've noticed with one of my older smart dolls, who's she's about four years old at this point, she's one of the first Mirais, is that because I used to, I'm, I'm used to, I guess, Dolphy Dreams, I would bend her arms up really, really high. What I've noticed is that there were little fissure cracks starting um, down here. And this is probably not something that'll happen as much because the materials for the material, the vinyl that's used on the current smart dolls is not as rigid. So it's not as prone to that cracking, but it was something that happened with the older smart dolls. And it can happen if you're bending the arm too high up into the shoulder joint. Um, but since I have the arms off right now, I'm going to actually do something that is not really recommended, but I'm nosy and curious. So if you pull the bust off, the newer smart dolls, this started, I think a few months back, have a little card with in plastic inside. And you're probably wondering what the heck is this for? It's actually a quality control thing. So it says, do not remove this quality control card. You're not supposed to. <laughs> and it has little uh, stickers that identify who built your doll, who did the quality control. So it says who built the frame, who built the body, who, who maybe painted the head or what head this is. This is, it says TRI 361. So maybe it's just an identification number for the head. Um, and then who did the final QC. So um, the numbers in the bottom, I guess, correspond to a staff member that work at Smart Doll, that work at Culture Japan. Um, so it's kind of nice. It's a personal touch. So you know who built your doll. It's kind of neat. And there's a number, um, almost like a serial number for your doll. So I'm going to tuck this back in so I don't lose it and put this bust piece back on and continue dressing Kanata. So yeah. That's kind of neat. I think it's nice um, that there's that kind of, um, not liability, but um, accountability is the word I'm using. Like, you know, you, if you work in a place and you're building something and if something goes wrong, at least you can follow up and see where the uh, problems possibly were. And I think it's a nice touch. So. Yeah, so your smart, your new smart dolls will come with that, and uh, all smart dolls have a one-year warranty. Whether you buy them from Smart Doll online or in person in the stores, they come with that one-year warranty. So uh, it's kind of nice. If you have any problems, you can always send them a message. So yeah, let's get this shirt back on and her arms on, and uh, continue on. All right, that was taking a while to get her arms back on. So she's dressed now and I just wanted to open up her wig. And so taking the little protective net off, there's also a piece or a big wad of paper inside the, uh, the wig to keep the shape. Uh, one thing to note is that the wig cap is skin tone. So you don't need to worry about the wig uh, staining the head because that's one of my biggest pet peeves is when you buy uh, a, a dark colored wig and the cap on the inside is all black and you can end up with horrible blue stains on your doll's head. So this won't stain because it's not black. Yay! So I'm just slipping her wig on and this is this lovely silky fiber. It just it's so nice and it's um, I feel I, I have a feeling this is a heat resistant fiber so if you needed to like do stuff to it with like a low temperature uh, styling wand you could or hair hair implement you could do that so here is Kanata in her with her hair on oh she's so pretty guys she's I just love this kind of serious intense face that she has so I'm gonna put her glasses on as well so these are designed to go underneath the wig like the uh I'm gonna look at her while I do this. It's supposed to tuck right underneath the wig cap over her ears and the wig actually helps hold these on. 
Um, and so the reason that these were designed with removable lenses is so that if you're taking photos, you don't get lens, um, or not, le yeah, glare off of the lenses, um, which is quite an interesting idea. I like it. And right now these glasses also come with uh, the option of not only clear lenses that you can purchase, but like sunglasses lenses as well, which I think is kind of cool. So I'm getting, I just want these to get, oh, there we go. It wasn't actually tucked in under the wig, so they weren't looking straight. So yeah. Oh, she's so cute. So let's talk about these high heeled feet that I mentioned earlier. Um, so these are them compared to the regular uh, flat footed pose that the default smart dolls come with. And these have a really nice high arch, but the foot itself doesn't bend or anything. It just, it's a solid sculpted foot like that. So you hope that the shoes that you buy for them will fit into these shoes. And sorry, into the shoes you have rather. So otherwise it might look funny. So these, I have these really beautiful um, Volks. These are SD16 Geta. And I've had these for a while now, but let me just take off Kanata's flat foot. So you can see if I were to put these into the, so this is the flat foot. If I were to put it into the sandal, it looks very strange because you have this gap here underneath the foot. It doesn't look attractive. So if you swap that for, let's see, this is left foot, left foot, for the high heeled foot, if you can get that up, yeah, there's an elastic behind. It just looks much nicer. So it's still not perfect. There's still a little bit of a gap underneath the ball of the foot, but it looks the shoe looks much nicer on the, or the sandal looks a lot nicer on this foot. So we're gonna put these on Kanata. Now, one of the things you need to remember with the high heeled feet is that they will not be as stable as the regular flat feet. You're gonna lose a little bit of, um, not posability, but like actual stability when you're posing your doll. Uh, because these are a wedge sandal, you're, that doesn't matter as much, but if you're actually putting your doll in high heeled shoes, just be careful when you're posing her so that she doesn't tip over. Um, oops, the elastic is twisted. There we go. So yeah, here's the other shoe. So let's put these on. And straighten out her glasses. Yeah, here we go. Here she is. Anyway, a quick box opening. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this is Kanata. I think she's actually going to keep her name. I like it. It, uh, it suits her. And thank you again to Smart Doll for accommodating my three requests. So first request was uh, mark down the value. They did that as best as they could. They gave me discrete, uh, this discrete box with no logos and uh, no markings on it. And the extra little vinyl chips for stain testing. So all three things they managed, I managed, or they managed to accommodate for me, which is awesome. Um, I'm going to clean up the mess I made now and take a few photos of this doll. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.